Hi, I'm Dan from VintageFellow.org and today we're asking an important question. Should you paint your vintage bike frame? Now, before you get the paint strippers out and the spray cans out or take a trip to the powder coater, there's some important questions we need to ask ourselves. Now, first off, you're unsure whether you should paint your bike frame. You like it, you've got a vintage bike, you want to make it look better, maybe you're rebuilding it, tidying it up, um, or doing a thorough restoration. Often the first point of call is uh, on the internet, so you get onto those forums, uh, or you ask questions through friends and things like that. Almost straight away, you are going to find two responses, usually in the same actual response. The first is, it's only original once, which is very true. And the second is, it's your bike, do whatever you want. Both of those are completely apt and apply, but they don't really help you when you're making up your mind and what you're going to do with your frame. So with this in mind, today's video, we are looking at what you should do with your vintage bike. Now, first off, can't reiterate this enough, it's your bike, you are allowed to do whatever you want. Many, many bikes go through a hellish time in their history. Just because it ends up hopefully with someone like us, who cares? You never know what's gone on in the past. So what kind of bike frame you have does have an influence on the overall outcome. Um, first off, if the frame's already been repainted, redecaled, renovated, do whatever you like. The originality has been lost. Then take a look at your bike. I'm gonna have a look at three examples here a little bit closer. First off, an important frame. When I say an important frame, I mean, uh, they're, they're not a hierarchy, but a bit of a hierarchy. Team frames, named numbered frames, when we know the history of the bike. For example, uh, this one here um, is a Carrera team bike frame uh, belonging to Guido Bontempi, uh, who rode alongside Roche in 87. Um, and this is one of his team bikes. Now, there's no way you're gonna be stripping this. There's no way I would strip this. Uh, originality is key. However, it's not quite as simple as that. Um, this bike, although superficially it looks good, it does have some damaged areas that need attention. Uh, if we look just underside here, uh, what we have there, because it's a team bike, the paint is very thin, um, and along this area here, rider sweat, um, this bike has done the Giro, uh, where it's one stages, it's done the Tour, um, and the rider sweat has penetrated the paint under here and reacted with the metal. Um, at some point in its life, I'll come in a bit closer there, uh, if we look there, at some point we can see um, that someone's kind of taken it back a little bit, um, hand applied some white paint, not the same colour uh, as, uh, as the original white paint, not the same shade, and it's had an effect also here on the decals. Now, what I'll probably do with this frame, um, I'll clean very, very thoroughly the whole thing, uh, really get in deep on some of these little scratches, just get the dirt and muck out. But this area here will need attention. Um, chances are the decal will have to come off um, and this paint area under here will have to be very carefully taken back to remove um, the, uh, the bad paint that's been applied. Um, treat the area uh, for um, any uh, metal degradation and then very, very gently resprayed, very, very um, professionally done. Obviously here we've got the blue that's fading into the white in the damaged area. It's going to be very, very tricky, very delicate job and will have to be done properly. The overall effect is pretty much to leave the frame as it is, just deal with that without over restoration. But that's the kind of thing you would do if you're lucky enough uh, to land a frame uh, like that. Same kind of thing goes with um, Colnagos um, and things along those kind of lines. Top of the range race bikes. Um, if you have uh, are fortunate enough to have maybe a Bianchi, Champion Del Monde, something along those kind of lines, you would again be looking at keeping as much originality as possible whilst dealing with any issues very sympathetically. Um, now, also, I'm going to put that one to one side. Okay, I've put the Carrera Batalan to one side. Now I'm going to look at a much more simple um, vintage bike frame uh, dating from the 60s, this Moto B came in orange. Um, 
it's a kind of cool bike. I really like some of the details. I like some of the chrome work, the lug lining, things like that. But the actual paint um, up close is very faded. Um, we've got little touch up areas in the wrong shade of orange. Um, I can also see these decals are not the original decals. There's a shadow either side here. So basically these, the original ones have been taken off. Someone's put fresh ones on. Um, there's scratches, some little patches of rust and things like that. On a bike like that, my plan is I'm going to completely strip that back to bare metal and do a full bare metal respray. That will be a feature video as well, a full strip down, paint and rebuild and ride. Okay, lastly, we're gonna take a look at this Mosa Corsa made out of Araya TT09. It's a classic mid-range bike. Um, I actually bought it for the parts, uh, which were very useful. One day I may get around to rebuilding the whole bike. The frame's in pretty good condition. It does need a few little touch-up areas. As long as you can get a good paint match, it will come up very, very well. However, it doesn't have a lot of intrinsic value. And that has to also be considered if you are going to embark on a paint project, the costs very quickly stack up. And on a frame like this, you would lose money, you'd never get it back. Um, so it really doesn't warrant doing unless it is a labor of love. Great, so we've looked at all three frames now, all with very different potential outcomes. One thing before you start working on your frame project, just give it a few weeks to really think about what the outcome is you want the finished bike to be like. Much, much easier to change the plan before you start working on the project rather than during or after. If you like this video, uh, do click subscribe and like uh, for more vintage bike riding, frame building and anything to do with vintage bikes. Thanks a lot.